Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. Hello, if you're new, if you're new, hit that red subscribe button down below. I do post every single Tuesday and Thursday, but my hair is in dire need of a good conditioning treatment. My hair has just been really lifeless, dry and frizzy. I really needed a good conditioning treatment. So I decided today that I will be putting rosehip oil to the test and applying this oil onto my hair for a full 24 hours share with you the results and whether it was good for my hair or not so stay tuned for the end I did do a whole video around rosehip oil and all the beauty hacks that you can do with it because it is definitely a oil that you can use for a variety of different reasons I will link down below a rosehip oil in my description box so definitely go check it out now let's just get right into it to start this is the rosehip oil that I will be using and applying to my hair rosehip oil is known as rosehip hip seed oil. It is harvested from the seeds of rose bushes. It is full of vitamins, antioxidants, and essential fatty acids that are said to do amazing things for the hair. Rosehip oil has also been used for centuries on the hair and also for a therapeutic value and it is said to be especially great if you deal with dry hair which your girl definitely does and it's great at nourishing the follicles and ends of your hair to start off of course i am just starting by brushing out my hair my hair is quite dry especially on the ends of my hair as you will see i definitely have a little bit of split ends but it's definitely a lot more dried at the end because it is the oldest hair so your ends are naturally going to be a lot drier especially if you put heat on it or style or dye or whatever the case may be and i just went ahead to make sure that i had no knots in my hair so that it will be an easier application once i apply the rosehip oil what i really love about rosehip oil it's actually a very lightweight non-greasy oil so it was really easy to apply all over my hair and what i started first with is just applying it to my scalp and also just giving my scalp a little bit of a massage to really get it in there and stimulate my hair two major things that rosehip oil is great for is helping repair dry damaged scalp or inflammation of the scalp which you guys know i definitely struggle with dandruff and flakes especially now during the colder and winter months that's when my scalp tends to really flare up so i really wanted to put the rosehip oil to the test and it's also really great at just promoting hair growth it's also just really great at helping to soothe frizz dry hair and also aid in smoothing split ends. So those are two things I'm definitely going to be looking for once I wash this treatment out of my hair. I'm going to see if I notice a difference in my scalp with the flakes and just my dryness of my scalp and also just the overall texture of my hair. If I think it's smoother, softer, less frizzy and if it conceals my split ends. So I think those are the two things that I'm really going to focus on and see if there is a change in my overall hair just by doing this treatment once for 24 hours. But I did go ahead and apply it all over my hair, bringing it right down to the ends, making sure that I coated my hair with the rosehip oil. This is definitely an oil treatment to do once a week or once every other week. Once I did apply the oil all over my hair from the scalp to bottom, I did put my hair in a low bun and put on a shower cap. And this is what I used all night long I even slept with this you want to make sure that you definitely have a shower cap that's not gonna budge because when you're sleeping I've had this happen before where I used a different shower cap and it completely came off and then my sheets were all oily and it was a complete mess so definitely make sure that you have one that's not gonna budge and I just find the one that I'm wearing now does not move all day long or all night even when I'm sleeping it just does not come off it has now been a full 24 hours later and I went ahead and took off my shower cap and this is what my hair is looking like of course it is just a huge greasy mess right now but my hair is looking a little bit wavier actually and these are just some close-up shots 
And what I like to do before I go ahead and shower is I did go ahead and take a wide tooth comb and just started brushing really gently at the ends of my hair and bringing it up. I just don't like to jump into the shower. My hair is all knotty and since it was in a bun all night long, it was a little bit knotty. So once I did that, I just went ahead and jumped in my shower and did my typical shower routine. If you haven't seen that, I recently did post my shower routine. So I'll link it above and have it down below. But I had to shampoo my hair out a few times to make sure I really got the oil out. When you are doing any sort of oil treatment, you definitely have to shampoo more than once because I made that mistake where I shampooed once, got out of the shower, styled my hair, and it was so oily and the oil was just still in my hair. So I make sure to lather my hair with shampoo a few times and I find that really gets the oil out of my hair completely. Since I do have to shampoo my hair a few times, I personally just like to put a like conditioner on after I do wash out my hair. So that is what I did. And then once I was done with that, I just stepped out of the shower. And now I'm going to share with you my results and also share with you a side by side for a before and after so you can really see the difference in my overall hair and the texture and I'm going to share with you what I noticed right away. This is a side by side of where my hair started and what my hair is looking like right now and I am so so happy with the results. I'm just going to jump in right away and share with you the things I noticed right off the bat. I noticed a difference in the overall texture of my hair. It is definitely a lot more smoother, fluffier, frizz free and I noticed a huge difference on the ends of my hair. My ends of my hair were looking pretty rough and dry but after using this treatment it just really smoothed everything down and kind of concealed the split ends something else I noticed right away was my scalp my scalp felt really moisturized not greasy or itchy it's been a few days since I applied this treatment and it really helped to calm down my flakes because I definitely was dealing with that within the last few weeks due to the cold weather is here and winter I'm definitely going to apply it onto my scalp more often whenever I have flare-ups but I love the overall bounce and shine in my hair and I love having that glossy shiny hair look One thing that I definitely have to point out that I noticed is the oil was definitely a lot harder to get out when it came to The scent the rosehip oil definitely I think has more of a stronger scent so it lingers on your hair It's not necessarily a negative thing to me It's not like it smells horrible or anything like that But I just could really smell the oil even after I washed washed my hair and my hair dried. It lasted within that day, but then the next day I could no longer smell it. That is my result. Let me know what you guys think. Click the subscribe button to join my family. I do upload every single Tuesday and Thursday and I will link down below my life hack and DIY playlist because I've done so many more videos like this. I totally recommend checking it out if you guys like this one. And of course, I will have the rosehip oil in my description box. And with that being said, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!